Turning to the Lord's feet of Lord Krishna, Nitya Lila Pradeshwam Nitya Lila Krishna, Bhakti Vedanta. We don't observe Krishna and his incarnate of Gita That we all not of Krishna, not of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, not of the Lord and God. But we How they have practiced Bhakti Yoga. And then they have received the service of Krishna. How from beginning of Bhakti, they accepted Bhakti Yoga and how great they were. Publishing his book. How publishing? At that time, it was very hard by writing. He wrote all these things. His all book with his pain. And also, he preached especially to 
Shamanam Narottam and He was the almost very rising learned person at that time who established Rupa Goswami. Wrote so many commentaries because he always liked Rupa Goswami. So he did. Mojiv Goswami, and I think that all his books were Jodi Kami, were lost. lost. So, Madhav Maharaj May 50 in three to July. and try to keep all in your heart and practice like Jesus. Om Nasya Matiram Bhukta Jananya Nakalakaya Chakshurun Nitam Dina Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Sankha Purvaka Nama Gana Natihi Talava Thani Pito Nidra Hara Vihara Tali Dito Chakshan Tadino Chayo Radha Krishna Gunas Mrite Madhubhanam Dena Sammohito Bande Yuga Sanatano Rahu Yuga Sudhi Bhagupalato Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So, today's disappearance day of Shila Jeeva Goswami Pad Shila Guru Dada taught at me to discuss about his life history. Shila Jeeva Goswami Pad, he was disciple of Shila Rupa Goswami Pad. Shila Rupa Goswami Pad, we have heard from Gurudev, which he has written in his literature. Jeeva Goswami published it by his own hand handwriting. There is no tape recorder, no machine, no dictaphone, nothing. Everything has to be handwriting. So once, when Jeeva Goswami was young and was also nephew of, not only disciple, nephew of Srila Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami. Also blood relation. Yes, blood relation. This word and that transcendental word. <laughs> so when he was young, he used to serve Rupa Goswami and Rupa Goswami has ordered him to correct his literature. So now any time we come in our mind, the Rupa Goswami part in one hand, eternal associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as Mahaprabhu's root, and other hand, eternal associates of divine couple as Rukmanjari. Is there any fault in the literature? How is it possible? And why Rupa Goswami part order him to correct his literature? How we can reconcile this? Shila Rupa Goswami, when he used to write, he absorbed in his mood. Then he forget that his grammatical is correct or not. So, Jeeva Goswami will correct that grammatical thing, not his mood. So, when he was writing some about uh, Guru Bhakti, Guru Nishta in him, so, first is Guru Nishtha. So, Guru Nishtha is the backbone of bhajan. So, Jeeva Goswami taught us in his life history. So, once Rupa Goswami was writing Bhukti Rasamrit Sindhu, the meantime, one very large scholar of India named Balavacharya came to Rupa Goswami. And he was older than Rupa Goswami because he made it he was older also than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes. He is even older than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
and if you guru um, chaitanya mahaprabhu in his birth place near prayag arayika and rupa sanya also there with mahaprabhu at that time so he became vrindavan <coughs> and during darshan he met with rupa sanya and told ru what are you writing at the now at present time i want to collect your literature rupa sanya the embodiment of humility or yes is my good fortune so after that he went to jamuna for taking bath jigvasan he was so much missed out his gurudev he could not tolerate tolerate this thing what he want to collect my gurudev's literature what kind of human being is this he could not tolerate this so he make a trip or oh, there is no water i have to go to bring water from jamuna in this pretense he took a what water pitcher and went to jamuna and he asked he paid respect him and asked oh you want to collect my gurudev's literature oh prabhu oh prabhu <laughs> you told that you want to collect Sri Rupakanta's literature. What for? He has seen there. Then he want to collect that thing. Then Balvacha just told him, "Yes, I have seen in his literature, bhukti mukti sriha jagat, isate ili vartate, tavad bhakti sukhasatra katham abhuda yo bhave." Many of these books, the desire of bhukti. and desire of mukti means bhakti means to enjoy and mukti is liberation when these two desire will be heart of a sadhak then bhakti devi never manifest in sadhak heart so balavati told he compare bhakti and mukti like a wish how is it possible you was an humble reply no no <laughs> is not compare bhukti and mukti with the wish the desire of bhukti and desire of mukti this like a wish if the desire of bhukti and mukti means liberation and to enjoy this desire in our heart then bhukti that will be far away from our heart so the desire of bhukti and mukti like a wish they can follow us completely why not sir Okay. Why not bhukti and mukti? Not why good person not compare bhukti and mukti like a wish? Because bhukti and mukti they are not wish. Why not? Shiva in Shri Mad Bhagavatam so many times. So if someone receive bhakti, bhakti manifest somebody heart, being completely merciful, then bhakti is to his thiratara bhagavat jyotisra.
Again, he came back to Rupa Goswami and told you, who is this boy who was telling you? Then Rupa Goswami understood that Jiva Goswami made some notorious thing with him, must be any direct according to Shastra. Rupa Goswami humbly replied, my nephew and disciple. After some time, the old large person, person went away from there. The Rupa Goswami called Jeev. You could not tolerate this old Brahman, could not give you proper respect. Rupa Goswami not ask anything to him. Rupa Goswami understood. And so, you go to his side, go his direction. This two meaning of his direction. His direction means, go to your previous village. This is like Purvakshan. And Jeev Goswami took this, it means his direction of growth. So he went to Nandaghat Bhargaon. And he lives in the hole of crocodile. Always weeping. Haru, Haru Sanatan, please be merciful on me. And stop eating, drinking everything. Day by day, he gets skinny and so many effects come all over body. And Sanatana Goswami always move here and there in Braj, and he well known in whole Braj, Bada Baba. And all over Braj, they respect Sanatana Goswami so much. When Sanatana Goswami is during his journey, arrived at village, they told, Oh Bada Baba, we have one Chota Baba also here in our village. So renowned, we never seen our whole life. Everyone is renowned than you also. Always on the weeping, Haru, Har Sanatan, please be merciful on me. And sometimes taking the name of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, sometimes taking the name of Vivaan Prabhu, weeping and weeping only. Then Sanatan Goswami understood, this is not other than Jeev. Then Sanatan asked, can you show me? Then they took Sanatan Goswami to Jeev Goswami. Sanatan Goswami brought him with him, and one day, discussion was going on, Rupa Goswami was giving discussion. Then Sanatan Goswami asked, what is the duty of a Vaishnava to our living entity means Jeeva? Then Rupa Goswami told, be mercy to our living entity means Jeeva. Here Jeeva means two meaning. Sanatan Goswami wants to say, what is the duty of Vaishnava to this boy Jeeva? And Rupa Goswami is telling for all Jeeva. Then Sanatana Goswami told, Sanatana Goswami was elder brother and guru of Sri Rupa Goswami. Then Sanatana Goswami told, if the duty of a Vaishnava be merciful to a Jeeva, why you not be merciful this Jeeva? Then Sanatana Goswami brought Jeeva and put him in the lap of Rupa Goswami. Then both guru and sister began to be bitterly. Rupa Goswami also was weeping and Jeeva Goswami also was weeping. So here Jeeva Goswami showed us that how Guru Nishtha was so strong in his heart. Even he could not tolerate any kind of teaching of his Guru Dev. So we have to be strong enough, have to take instruction from Jeeva Goswami, how to respect Guru Dev, how to serve Guru Dev. If anyone will defame our Guru Dev, we shall cut the all arguments by our Shastriya Praman. He could not do so, had to keep our foot ear plug and take bath with Ganga, Jamuna, Roshan with full cloth. And if you are too powerful, then like Hanuman, he who burned the whole Lanka. For this reason, Srila Vrindamanda Thakur told, Ato Parihare Jai Pati Ninda Kare, Tavelati Marata Sire Rupare. Hearing the glory of Nishtananda Prabhu, even a sinner, Yes, it is like Nishtananda Prabhu. I shall speak on his head. So we have to be so bold like Hanuman or Vrinda Bandha Thakur. Whoever criticizes our Gurudev, we shall cut their all arguments. And our if Gurudev should be very... And Gurudev must be very bona fide, not so called Gurudev. So now one inquiry may come in our mind. If Rupa Goswami is Gurudev, he is 
second body of your Mahaprabhu and Jivvasa your Shaitanal associate of Mahaprabhu and divine couple. There is no fault among between them. So if Jivvasam is correct, then other hand Rubvasam must be wrong. If Rubvasam is correct, then Jivvasam must be wrong. But wrong word is not in their dictionary, in their character. So how we can reconcile this? Srila Jivvasam, he did, he acts like a disciple, and Rubvasam he also acts like a Gurudev. What Rubvasam is, act, he has acted. He acted like a bona fide Gurudev. He was embodiment of humility, and Jivvasam he was also a very mature disciple, too much Nishtha towards Gurudev, which he did, is also correct. So by this way to reconcile. And other thing we shall listen from Gurudev Prakash, please, Hare Krishna. One part of the world is going to be very happy. One part of the world is going to be very happy. After that, something camera. Other important. First, I offer my unlimited obeisance to him, the dust of the lotus feet of my Paramaraja Shama Guru Pada Padma, Nityarila Kavishta, Om Vishnu Pada, Stokita Sukha Sri Srimad, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. And the same unlimited obeisance to him, the dust of the lotus feet of my Paramaraja Shama Guru Pada Padma, Om Vishnu Pad, Astogita Sukha Sri Srimad, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. To all of our Guru Varga and all the assembled devotees. Sri Jiva Goswami was described very poetically and beautifully by Srila Gurudev in a Mathura lecture in 1992 on this same disappearance day, anniversary. He said that Jiva Goswami established the integrity of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mood, which he gave to all fortunate jivas, of Pariti Abhav, of the gopis, which was later on taught by Sri Rupa Goswami, by taking the river, the ever-flowing river of Ras, of Radha and Krishna's pastimes, and blocking all sides, both sides of the river with these very strong and powerful rocks of strong philosophical conclusions. In this way, he protected that river from the contamination of the water of misconception. Very beautifully put by our Srila Gurudev. You understand this thing? <coughs> You realize what she said, told? Wrong. Many of them, they could not understand. So, Sri Sri Radha Krishna's pastimes are the highest conclusive truth and the ultimate goal of all jivas, all fortunate jivas. These uh, pastimes of the Lord are misunderstood by our mundane vision, and especially unscrupulous personalities take advantage of our shortcomings and teach the misconceptions far and wide. Jiva Goswami established the uh, purity of Radha Krishna's pastime by strong philosophy, establishing how Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, how Radharani and the gopis are his own internal powers and potencies, shaktis. They are owned by him, so although it appeared that he was dancing with other persons' wives, actually all other persons' wives belong to Krishna, not the opposite. In order to help less intelligent people to come into Vaishnavism. 
who would otherwise misunderstand the paramour pastimes of Radha and Krishna and the gopis, Sri Jiva Goswami appeared to have established Swati Abhav, or Radha and Krishna as a married couple. Because if they would uh, try to understand their paramour relationship, then they would do then, 500 years ago, what they're doing now. They would say that this is mundane, and they would also imitate them, where you find men dressed as uh, women and having illicit relationships in the name of Parati Abhav Sadhana, thinking that they'll get perfection, but actually they go to hell by lusty activity. Srila Gurudev explained in his Gurudev's biography that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was externally in a male form, but internally he was in the mood of a gopi. Whereas these personalities, they're um, externally dressed as a woman, as a gopi, but internally they have the male bhav, purusha bhav, of lusty feeling towards women, so by their activities they go to hell. Some people criticized Jiva Goswami and said that he was not following the principles of Sri Rupa Goswami, which is Parati Abhav, which is established by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Srila Vishwanath Chakrabarti Thakur, who is accepted by Acharyas as the incarnation of Rupa Goswami, came and protected the integrity and established the integrity of Sri Jiva Goswami's teaching. As Sri Padmanabha Maharaj me uh, mentioned, it's the duty of the disciples to defend the bona fide spiritual master against all offenses and all attacks of misconceptions. Gurudev said, if somebody says, because one disciple or several disciples were thinking that if we say something or write something to defend Gurudev against other people who are um, blaspheming him, misunderstanding him, saying bad things about him, that he's not actually in Guru Prampara. Actually, we should love all Vaishnavas, no matter what they say about our Guru. We should all chant Hare Krishna and love each other and be humble more than a blade of grass. But Gurudev said, anyone who thinks like that, he said, if somebody says your guru is engaged in sense gratification, what will you do, smile and show your teeth? If you yourself cannot defend your guru, then if you don't support someone who's defending your guru, then you're not my disciple. Rather, he said, anyone who doesn't um, fulfill the manubhishya of his spiritual master and doesn't defend his Gurudev and proper Siddhanta, he's actually not a disciple, but he's a eunuch. Gurudev said that when someone said that the uh, Ratha Yatra established by his Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesu Goswami Maharaj, was not authorized to be done in Navadweep, Gurudev began writing a very strong article against that offense to his Guru Maharaj. And then it created a great agitation on the other side, and they began writing articles. And these articles went on back and forth for a whole year, creating tremendous agitation. And Gurudev again did that against the Sahajiyas who were misunderstanding the Lord's mood, that is Krishna's mood, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu's mood, and the mood of his associates, because Gurudev wrote the book, Five Essential Essays, and distributed them freely. And Gurudev said again, that created a great tumultuous agitation. But this is the duty of the disciples to protect the integrity of the Guru Parampara. So Jiva Goswami, in order to bring in those who would misunderstand the Lord's pastimes, he, and only he could have brilliantly done that, established Swati above in Radha Krishna mood, which is that they are a married couple, so that people could gradually have faith that yes, they're bona fide and gradually come into Vaishnavism. 
But Srila Vishwanath Chakrabarti Thakur explains that actually Jiva Goswami is a perfect follower of Srila Rupa Goswami because he is not really saying Swati above. What does Swa mean? Swa means own. It means um, marry, but it also means own, of his own. Radha and Gopi are Krishna's own internal potency. They're not different from him. And Parakya, Para, they are Parashakti. Srimati Radhika is the embodiment of Parashakti, Krishna's supreme transcendental power, which, as Sri Jiva Goswami himself explains in Tattva Sandarbha, that by his own desire, Krishna's Parashakti, his supreme transcendental energy, manifests the absolute truth that supreme Sri Krishna in four features. She manifests his own Swarup, um, Swayam Bhagavan, his own original form is Krishna, his touch by Bhavarup, that is all of his expansions beginning from Sri Baladevji, all of his abodes, all of his associates, his um, Jiva, Jivanansa potency, Art, the living entity, and also Pradhan, his material energy. So Srimati Radhika is Krishna's Pada Tattva, sorry, Pada Shakti. And so she is, her relationship is in Padakya. She's not any other. Pada also means others, but she's not any other. She's Krishna's supreme potency, Krishna's own potency. And therefore, Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur explains that really Srila Jiva Goswami is saying that Swati above and Padaki above both exist harmoniously and beautifully in the Supreme Lord of Gokula in Goloka Vrindavan. There are many accusations of Sri Jiva Goswami against him and our Srila Prabhupada, who is also his defender, explains some of these in his Chaitanya Charitamrita purport. That is another incident where Jiva Goswami defended Srila Rupa Goswami and Srila Sanatana Goswami was when some wandering big Vijay went to Rupa and Sanatana and said, I'm challenging you to a debate in philosophy and if you're defeated by me, then you should sign a statement that I'll be able to show to everyone that I've defeated you. So rather than waste their time, because no one wants to waste their time in arguing with someone who won't accept good arguments and agree to be defeated if his opponent has better arguments, so rather than waste their time, they immediately sign the paper. Yes, we are defeated by you. When Srila Jiva Goswami found out about this, he told that person, first you defeat the disciple, and then you will see if you've actually defeated the master. So Jiva Goswami is accused of not being humble. But as Srila Gurudev just explained, it's the duty of the guru to be very humble but it's the, guru, uh, the duty of the disciples to not tolerate any offense to his bona fide Gurudev. So actually, Jiva Goswami was being the perfect disciple by defending his Gurudev. And he wrote, he's known as the greatest scholar of his time, as Gurudev just mentioned. <coughs> Despite, it's normal, it's normal for bona fide Acharyas to be accused of so many things. Like Srila Vishwanath Chakrabarti Thakur, there was an attempted murder against him, murder of him, because when they threatened, when the, um, what do you call those, uh, Brahmins? Smart Brahmins challenged him that if you don't stop preaching Radhanuga Bhakti, then we're going to have to do something. 
So he didn't stop, and so they tried to murder him. They found him. They looked for him and searched, searched everywhere where he was doing his bhajan in Vrindavan very early in the Brahma Mahorta time of the morning. And they saw, they saw, thought that they saw him entering into some kund. So they went in there and they didn't see him anymore, but they saw a very young, beautiful Kishori girl, teenager, 12 and a half years old. And they asked, she was just picking flowers, and they asked, have you seen a sadhu around? And she said, yes, I saw him for some time, but then I think he went in that direction. So they went in that direction, but then they looked back towards the beautiful Kishori, and they saw that she was actually Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. So they immediately surrendered to him and became his disciples, and preached on his behalf. So the, uh, the next acharyas are always defending the previous acharyas. So Srila Jiva Goswami also was accused, and he was accused that Sri Krishna Kadurai Goswami, the author of Chaitanya Charitamrita, showed his unpublished manuscript to Jiva Goswami, and Jiva Goswami became very furious that, oh, now he will be known as a greater scholar than myself. So he took his Chaitanya Charitamrita manuscript and threw it in a well. So Krishna Kararaj Goswami became so shocked that he immediately died, but some man named Mukunda had an extra copy, and that's how it got published. So it's normal that the acharyas, the great acharyas, will be accused of so many things. Why? Because bhakti is not easy. It's very, very difficult and rare to come to bhakti. So the pure devotees, the acharyas, are... Hmm? Tell me about this. This is false allegation. Yes, our Prabhupada is saying this is a false allegation. So no need of So my only point was that our Shiva Prabhupada was saying how this is a false allegation. Very soft, very Okay. And it's okay. Okay. We are very hankering of making so many disciples. Oh, disciples, disciples, disciples. Even by spending so much money, making so many dalal, agents, that if you bring five disciples, I will pay so much. <laughs> now we are days going more. But Jiva Goswami, or any of the Goswami, Krishna Goswami, Krishna Dasya Goswami. How many disciples Sri Rahmanath Das Goswami, Sri Sanatan Goswami, Rup Goswami, Rahmanath Bhatta? Similarly, Jiva Goswami has no disciples at all. But the whole world is his disciples. Shamananda, Prabhu came, but he was initiated by any guru. But Narottam Thakur and Srinivas were not initiated by any guru. They came in the shelter of Jiva Goswami. Jiva Goswami, oh, he taught them all the Shastra, Ved, Upanishad, Shastra, everything all the top. They wanted to be initiated by Jiva Goswami, but Jiva Goswami refused and told that, oh, there are so many elevated Vaishnav more than me, oh, please you should go to Loka, and you should go to Gopal Goswami. They were not intended to go to them. 
they wanted that uh, you are my king and they have accepted him right? but yet they followed the instructions of the Jiva Swami then Narottam Thakur went to Loknath Prabhu and went to Gopal Goswami you see that oh, Loknath Goswami he refused Goswami was bound to give him. Yes. Similarly, Gopal Bhatt never made any disciple. But oh, by the request of Lajiv Goswami, he accepted only one disciple. Like and they and they there they two and three. So they went to Bengal and collected thousands and thousands of followers. Why? In the same way, like Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami and his Gurudev. His Gurudev was Srila Prabhupada. He never accepted any disciple. Only by the special request of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta and he saw his also hard that if I am not initiating him in job. So he was bound to give initiation. Bound. Guru was bound. Bound. And he gave him initiation. But oh, except him, no initiation to him. And he, that disciple, Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, for he did miracle. Oh, oh Bengal, whole India, and after that, disciple like you, you have no faith in Krishna name. Yeah. Krishna name is himself. He has manifested his all power, all beauty, all appearances in his name. Name is more powerful than Krishna himself. So you have not faith in him. If you are doing bhajan, and if a person is coming, thirsty, and he wants water, he wanted water from Guru, Lokna, and he was chanting. Oh, he was upset. But when he went to Narottam Sadhu, oh boy, baby Sadhu, oh, he took some water and he gave. Oh, and then Lokna chanted, oh, you should return back to your home. Always do in peace. Then he was so a strong personality that he meant, but he followed his guru and he did thousands and thousands of disciples. So who is merciful in our I think that Narottam Thakur is more and more merciful. Though Loknath Goswami is also Manjari, Narottam Thakur is also Manjari. But I think oh, he is more merciful and he has mercy for all. Oh. But in some way, this 
और भजन इज लाइक दैट फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ आवर भजन इज वॉट साधु श्रद्धा इन साधु संग
always engaged in money. Vaishnav has come to your house from India and you have no time at all to hear. What is this? This is called, I have explained all this. But you should remember one thing, if Shraddha is there, you have it. And Shraddha is really in your heart. But no sadhu son, then what will you do? Then Shraddha will go very soon because you are not so. When you will come in our stage, even Sanyas will not save you. Sanyas will not. He will not. So many Sanyas is hurt. But anyone coming in our stage, oh, then Bhakti may. Like Haidar Sabu, what he told? If anyone will kill us, murder us. Even I will not stop chanting. Now, there are so many are asking. They have taken diksha also, taken initiation. And they are asking Gurudev, I have so many problems, I have no money. Should I stop chanting, chanting and uh, serving deity? And what to do? I cannot maintain. Please allow me not to and not to serve deities and everything. I replied, oh, I cannot. I cannot. Allow me. Allow me. Allow. Never, never. You should die, but I cannot. <laughs> Allow you to stop chanting and even one round you should go on doing. Even if not mala, but you should do. You should serve the deities that you are serving. No But I will not allow. So, we have discussed all these things. I wanted to discuss. So, we will discuss something today. Is for a high stage drawn up late. After that, oh, have a Krishna, Lord Krishna. You drum up late, you should. At once be ready and Long Prima, all glory to Absolutely. Quickly, quickly.